Wind Orchestra 3 is made up of students from year 7 to 11. In term 1, we rehearsed in two halves or in sections. It was great to come together as one group this term and prepare our pieces for tonight. Our first piece is Alpine March by Joseph Campello. The work is reminiscent of a Bavarian brand band, brass band at Oktoberfest and is conducted by Miss Karen Walker. After this, there is, more, there is the more sombre Earth Song by Frank to Kelly. Originally a work for Wind Orchestra called Sanctuary, to Kelly rewrote part of Sanctuary for choir, creating a poem to suit the mel melodic contour. He then rescored the choral work back for Wind Orchestra. The final words of the poem are, I'll sing, I'll be, I'll live, I'll see. Peace, peace. This will be conducted by Miss Robin Griffin. Please welcome to the stage our first conductor, Miss Walker.
Good evening. My name is Soraya. And my name is Giselle. And, and we, we play, play in Symphonia. Symphonia. Symphonia rehearses every Thursday afternoon and is conducted by Miss Karen Walker and Mrs Miranda Sims. We will be playing two pieces for you tonight. Ms Walker is conducting our first piece called Phantom Maltz by Chris Thomas. This piece features two solo cellists, Year 12 student Tom Hopwood and Year 11 student Finn Lebouchain. They both are studying ATAR music and sit on the front desk in the symphony orchestra. This piece was inspired by a ghostly, forgotten ballroom and features melodramatic melodies and colourful accidentals for a dramatic effect. Mrs Sims will conduct our second piece, called Storm Trail by Doug Sparta. Picture a group of scientists in pursuit of a cyclone and you'll get the idea of this dramatic and high energy piece. It features surging melodies and intense rhythms. This piece has changing time signatures to evoke the sound of the chaotic cyclone. Please welcome our first director, Miss Walker, with Tom and Finn. Thank you. 
such a happy individual The moment that you speak I want to go play hide and seek I want to go and bounce the moon Just like a toy balloon You and I are just like a couple of tots Running across a meadow You make me feel so young You make me feel like flow to be sung Bells to be rung And a wonderful fling to be flung And even when I'm old and gray I'm gonna feel the way I do today Cause you make me feel so young You make me feel so young
Welcome back. We hope you enjoyed the interval and are ready for an enjoyable second half of tonight's concert. My name is Isabel Keenan. And my name is Alice Freeman. We both play flute in Wind Orchestra 2 and thought we might just start off with a little flute humour to get you in a good mood for our performance. Hey Izzy, what do a flute and a law case have in common? Um, I have no idea. What does a flute and a law case have in common? Everyone is relieved, relieved when the case is closed. <laughs> Very funny, Alice. Hey, do you know what a minor second is? Aha, uh -huh. I learnt this one in class. It's a semitone, isn't it? It says here that a minor second is two flutes playing in unison. Another good one, Mr Borgo. <laughs> like all ensembles this semester, Wind Orchestra 2 has been marching on. No, literally. We have been marching on and on and on in preparation for the Anzac March, which we had the honour of joining in the city on Anzac Day. All those kilometres on the legs paid off, and it was quite an experience to be a part of such, an, such a special occasion. Yes, it was. Two good things about all that marching was that we got plenty of fresh air in these COVID-affected times, and it was also great to actually be able to play together. We spent the most part of Term 1 rehearsing separately as woodwinds in one room and brass and percussion in another. We were socially distanced with one player per stand and played with bell covers on our instruments. Bell covers. That reminds me of another joke. Why do all other woodwind instrument players envy flutes? Do they? Why do all the other woodwind players envy the flutes? Because we're the only winds eligible for the Nobel Prize. <laughs> Luckily, we had two conductors, which made, which made rehearsing separately possible. But unfortunately, coronavirus has made this term quite disrupted, with most of the band missing rehearsals at some stage. In fact, we have a few players unable to be here tonight. Oh, and our conductor, Mr Poynton. He too has finally succumbed to the virus, so we wish him well and a speedy recovery. So tonight, Mr Borgo will conduct to both of our pieces. The first is titled Quad City Stomp and is composed by Michael Sweeney, and it features the percussion section hitting stuff unnecessarily and making noise, which is pretty typical of them. The second piece is called Seagate Overture and is composed by Jane Swerigen. This is a legendary piece because it starts with a beautiful tender flute solo by Devold and ends on a high note. Quite literally, listen for Harper's final piccolo note. That reminds me of one last joke, Alice. What's the range of a piccolo? Mm, I would say about 30 metres, if you have a good arm. Please enjoy our performance.
Hi, my name is Maggie and this is Andrew. This is our ensemble called Fretwork 2. Um, the piece we are playing, the pieces that we are playing are called Fantasy of Spain by Paul Svoboda and Maria by the Gypsy Kings. I hope you enjoy our performance.
evening, parents, guardians, and significant others. Up next, we have the finale of this evening's concert, the Year 10 Choir. As much of you will recall, the Year 7 music students sing in the Duvalakis Choir, the Year 8 and 9 sopranos and altos with the Matildas, and the Year 9 basses and tenors with the Larrikins. For no particular reason, we seem to have adopted a playful collection of names with an Australian twist. As it stands, the Year 10 Choir have been named the Year 10 Choir. <laughs> we are hoping you might be able to help us. As you leave this evening, there is a suggestion box in the foyer. Please feel free to suggest a name, either in keeping with our Duvalakis, Matildas and Larrikins theme, or else something entirely different. The year so far has been somewhat of a challenge for our choirs here at Churchlands. COVID protocols had us rehearsing wearing masks, social distancing and rehearsing only in our largest venues, limiting our rehearsal sizes to 32 students at a time, coming to rehearsals on a rotation and then trying to remember, was it a sleeping week or a choir week? Yeah, that's right. You know, the choir teachers created elaborate rehearsal schedules to ensure that whatever happened, we would keep the choir cogs turning no matter what. Due to the restrictions in numbers, we've only put the whole choir together for the first time six weeks ago. Until then, trying to rehearse our parts separately and not having heard how all the parts fit together has made it a slow process to learn our repertoire. Despite the challenges, you can see the choir is now assembled and ready to perform the last item singing He Lives in You from The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, by Lebo M. Please welcome tonight's director, Mrs. Ursula Gregg, to the stage.
concludes our concert for this evening. We hope you've enjoyed the performances and we hope you will continue to come along and support the amazing standard of performance that you have seen from the students on stage tonight. Please remember to buy your tickets for the upcoming 50th anniversary celebrations on June the 27th at Perth Concert Hall. And don't forget to make a suggest suggestion in the suggestion box. Have a good evening, drive safely and good night. <laughs>